from the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, and welcome to another Ropecast. My name is Roger Charlton, and next to me in the studio is Peter Tischer. Hello, Peter. Hello, Roger, and hello, dear listeners. Thank you for having us on your iPod. Roger, what's today's topic? Well, you know, we were talking recently about proverbs and other fixed expressions, and I think there's quite a bit more to say about that. Oh, there sure is. <laughs> like, where can learners find reliable information on idioms, etc.? That's actually not all that easy. Oh, you probably would go to the Internet first off. <laughs> I would go to the Internet, yes. Uh, you know, I'm an Internet person a little bit, but I think everybody nowadays looks it up that way. Actually, we have a list of that that has been sent to us by Natasha, one of our listeners from Croatia. Yeah, I think uh, the links she sent us, maybe we could put some of those on our website and other people can make use of them. Yes, yes, that's exactly, I think, what we should do. So, with um, some comments from us. With some comments from us. Actually, I looked at a few of them and they are quite useful here and there. There is a problem, though, with lists that list idiomatic expressions. Sometimes they're very hard to use. Yes. And also sometimes some of these lists are out of date. That is a problem. You're absolutely right. So we need information which is up to date right. with help for the learner, like how do we use these things mm -hmm. and such like. Right. And that is where I sometimes run into problems. I, I get unsure and everything, and yeah. I'm pretty sure all of our listeners do too. Well, you know, there are books. Uh, yes, <laughs> I remember books. <laughs> no, seriously, can yeah. you recommend any then? Well, you know, let me just tell you a story. And um, Several times I've been into a class here at university okay. and uh, said to students, let's just do a little experiment. Can you give me an idiom or colorful expression that contains the word rain or raining? Mm -hmm. And usually they come up with one, just one. And it's always the same one. Oh, uh, wait. I think I know which one. It's yeah. the, um, it, it, it rains, or probably it's raining uh, cats and dogs. That's the one, yes. They all seem to learn that at school. It's mm. raining cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. or it's raining I learned cats. that yeah. early on in school yeah, as well. Yeah. Yes. And then I say, well, according to reliable information, that is not much used by native speakers. Can you give me another one containing the word rain? Mm -hmm. And then usually... There is a deafening silence. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always awful for a language teacher. <laughs> so then it gives me the chance to recommend a book. It's a Collins Cobild dictionary. There are several dictionaries uh -huh. from Collins Cobild, and this one is a dictionary of idioms. Let's put the details on our website. Right, okay. And there you will find there is an idiom containing the word rain, which is really used by native speakers. And that is one that we mentioned some time ago in a podcast, Take a Rain Check. I wasn't there when you mentioned that, was I? Oh, that's right. That was with John Holland. Ah, okay, okay. But a rain check, yeah, that's a very common expression. I know that. That is, is when you postpone something, when you say, okay, let's do this some other day. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And that is more frequent. That is. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? How does the dictionary tell you that? It has little indicators of frequency in there. So Little this, symbols. Yeah. And this is based on information from a huge corpus of English called the Bank of English. Ah, so okay. it's reliable. A bank that does not go bankrupt. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I would look up under rain and yeah. it gives me expressions with rain and it would tell me this expression is more frequent, this expression is, well, not or less frequent. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay, sounds like a useful book. Uh, are there any famous quotations in there as well? Well, quotations, um, there you'd have to go to a different source, I think. That's another huge topic. Okay, but well, then let's give our listeners a rain check on that topic and talk about quotations some other day. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, bye for day. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. You know what? This English language is just too hard. No, you're making it that way.